Hey, hey, Marvel fans, and welcome to Screen Rant. All right, so in the world of comics, we all know that supposedly dead characters returning from the grave is kind of common. Wolverine, Spider-Man, Captain America, heck, even Superman have all died at some point, and they always manage to come back to life or be reborn or what have you in one way or another. Even in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a few of our favorite heroes saw their end in the latest battle to save the world, but come on, they might be movies, but we're still talking comics here, and we're pretty sure that some of the dead will walk among the living once again in the upcoming Phase 4. In the next few years, we're gonna get Black Widow, Eternal, Shang-Chi, Doctor Strange 2, Thor 4, and not to mention the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Loki, What If, and Hawkeye on TV. And when you're dealing with multiverses and all sorts of crazy timelines these days, that makes for plenty of opportunities for dead heroes to return. And there's even Moon Knight and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which may or may not be part of Phase 4, so you might even consider those as well. So, who do we expect to see again? Well, let's dig them up. I'm Greg Elliott, and here's every dead MCU hero returning in Phase 4. Okay, the first one is kind of obvious. After sacrificing herself in exchange for the Soul Stone in Avengers Infinity War, Natasha Romanoff will be returning in her own entire movie, Black Widow, the first film of Phase 4. But sadly, this is not going to be a resurrection because Black Widow is a prequel set between the events of Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. So yeah, hardly a surprise, but she's in Phase 4 either way. And you can't really get much more dead than Vision did in Avengers Infinity War. Thanos literally ripped the Mind Stone right out of his head and turned him all Pleasantville, so we're definitely curious to see how they're going to bring him back in Phase 4's upcoming WandaVision series. But hey, maybe Pleasantville isn't too far off, come to think of it. The show apparently is going to have a 1950s sitcom vibe to it after all, but it will take place after the events of Endgame, and they haven't revealed how Vision will be resurrected yet, but Paul Bettany just said the other day that we will be getting more info very soon. Another Infinity War casualty was Gamora, who got sacrificed by her own dad on Vormir so he could get the Soul Stone. But she did come back, kinda. The 2014 version of her, which is her before the events of the Guardians of the Galaxy films, did come into our timeline, and she's still out there somewhere. So while it might not be the softer, Peter Quill-loving Gamora we've come to know, she is alive and Quill's quest to find her will very likely be a big part of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, there is a decent chance that Guardians 3 might not even make it into Phase 4, so for now, we're just gonna hope that it does and that we'll see some more of Gamora in Phase 4. And you knew we were getting to Tony, right? Yeah, the man who started it all committed the ultimate sacrifice in Endgame, but oh no, we ain't seen the last of him yet. At least, that's what most of the internet seems to think right now. Since they announced Black Widow, and that it was a prequel that takes place during a time that Tony Stark is definitely alive, there have been heavy rumblings that Robert Downey Jr. will make an appearance in it. But nothing has been officially announced just yet. But if the rumor mill is to be believed, I mean, it would be a pretty easy way to bring Tony back without having to unkill him. Now, some of these names are confirmed and some aren't quite there just yet, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe is pushing forward with new characters and stories, but don't be too surprised if they call back to these heroes more than you may have been led to believe. So keep your eyes peeled and you might just see a ghost or two. Thanks for watching Screen Rant, guys. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'll see you next time. Peace.